four. Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Boys of Summer back in town, UPMC Park, Seawolves tonight, getting a little pregame activity in there. And uh, as we swing into the forecast, it'll be humid. There's certainly a chance of a shower or two, but you know, just bring the umbrella to be safe if you're uh, in a non sheltered seat, but mainly dry. Uh, temperatures generally in the 70s to near 80 degrees. As you look, at uh, the radar here again, you can see all the moisture in the eastern United States, and that's where that package was about uh, as far as flooding is concerned. It's not for western Pennsylvania, but you do have some showers. And the thing that uh, keeps us on the warm and humid side is the fact you see the flow here. It's all south to north. So we are in a southerly humid airflow. We've got uh, Warren County that's had a few showers, eastern Erie, and down into Crawford. But that's kind of the flavor of the forecast as you go through the night. So if if you're going down to the lake or anywhere outside, yeah, sure, there could be a shower or a rumble of thunder. That activity, you know, tends to dissipate after sunset anyway. But there's going to be a lot of dry time, as there will be for the first half to tomorrow. It, it's better chances mid to late afternoon and on the water. Southeasterly winds 5 to 10 knots, waves 1 foot or less. Water temperature off Waterworks at 61, but warmer in other locations. Uh, trees, grasses, and weeds all absent today. Thanks, Dr. Gallagher. Uh, molds even on the low side. And as you look at your weather headlines, we're at 14 hours, 44 minutes of daylight. We do have some evening scattered showers, as we sh showed you there, but many of you may just stay completely dry. Uh, better chances tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and into Wednesday with a front which will be going through at that time. But right now, back up to 84 after a shower in the airport in the last one to two hours. 78 in Meadville and Franklin, 79 in Warren. But the all important dew points tell the complete story. You know, upper 60s, low 70s, obviously another humid night out there with the winds. Out of the south and southeast for now. Now, as we take you on in and show you what's going to happen here, we uh, open up the surface map and, and show you that there's still low pressure around, the heavier rains in eastern Pennsylvania, and more scattered stuff over our area for now. So let's do you a little maps in motion. As we like to say, when you lose the energy of the sun, any showers that are around this evening tend to dissipate. Now, this is going to get a little bit closer tomorrow, so you see how things fill in in the afternoon. Mid to late afternoon, showers and storms become more likely. Some could see some heavy downpours tomorrow night, but the cool thing is that what's around on Wednesday is moving out later in the day and the evening. Now, the pattern is still unsettled. But even as you go into Thursday, as another front appears, it's very scattered. And that's kind of what we're going to keep in the forecast off and on. So for tonight along the lakeshore, as we said, a chance of an evening shower or two, but mainly warm and humid, especially later tonight. 70 to 74 for your lows. More air conditioner weather, Edinburgh, Titusville, Meadville. Scattered evening or maybe a late night shower or rumble of thunder, otherwise humid. 65 to 69. Uh, Jamestown, Warren, Tyanesta, spotty showers this evening. Dry time as well, 63 to 67. Tomorrow, warm and humid. Showers and thunderstorms most likely in the afternoon, 80 to 85. And uh, occasional tomorrow night, and some could contain some heavy downpours, 64 to 70. That's around on Wednesday, but tending to move out. Chance in the afternoon Thursday and a chance on Friday, but not putting a lot of drops in that. And then maybe some more late Sunday and into Monday. So extended periods of rain-free weather, seasonable highs in the upper 70s to low to mid 80s. Check it all out at your eerie.com. So, so two iffy days. And, and then it just gets perfect. Well, not perfect. There's chances around, but, you know, chances are chances. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Tom.